Hello and welcome to my Shopify tutorial video. Today, I'm going to show you how to take your online store to the next level by adding variants for products in Shopify 2.0 theme. As you can see here I am displaying a product page for difference, this is without variants and, this is with variants. Now I am going to show you how to add these variants in the product page. So, without further ado, let's dive right in and get started. In order to create variants, you need to visit Shopify dashboard. From Shopify dashboard, head to the products creation page by clicking on a products menu from the left side menu list. Once you click, as you can see lists of products displayed in the product creation page. I am going to choose any one product here. For example, I am going to choose a 3D animal print coffee mug product. Similarly, you can choose any product from your list. Now you see, I already created most of the fields for this product like title, description, media, etc. Once you scroll down through the page, you will see the variants section. In this section you can create variants like size, color, materials, etc. For example, I am going to create a color variant by clicking on this option and choose a color E from a drop-down list. Once you choose, you can specify the color name under the option values field. As you can see, I have two 3D animal printed coffee mugs here. One is orange and the other is red. So, I specified the color names as a orange and a red and clicked the done button. Now you can see, two variant editing fields are unlocked here for orange and red. Now, I am going to add another variant as a size, like small and a medium and click on the Edana button. Now you can see that four fields are created below for each color and sizes I specified here. Next, before clicking the save a button you need to check the quantity field here should not be zero. If it's a zero that means, the product is out of stock and won't be displayed on the product page. Quantity must be values from one to any number. I am going to enter 10 quantities for all fields and click the save button. Now I am heading over to the site and checking if the variants are appearing on the product page. As you can see, variants are displayed here. But, look at the color swatches here, it's all grayed out. Note, for some themes, specifying basic color under variants section on Shopify dashboard make the basic color visible on the color swatches. However, for some themes this doesn't work, so we need to enter the custom color manually. In order to enter the custom color, I am heading back to the variant section on Shopify dashboard and clicking on the edit button for an orange color small size. Once you click edit button, after scrolling down the page, you can see the meta field. Here you can pick any custom color. Now I am clicking on the swatch color field and picking orange color manually. Then clicking on the save button. Now I will copy this color code to paste it on another product that also specified the same color. I am pasting the same color code here since this is also the same color product but different size. Once done, I am picking the a red color field and choosing red color now under meta fields then clicking on the save button. Repeating the same step for another red color field. Once it's done, I am heading back to the product page on site and refreshing the page. Now you can see, two different color swatches have appeared here. Instead of color swatches, you can also place images here like this. To do this, you need to head back to the theme customizer and head to the product page in theme customizer and click the variant picker option under the product information or menu. Once you click on the right hand side, you can see a type and a swatch style of drop downs. As you see, by default it's in pills. I clicked on it and got two options from the drop down. One is a drop down and the other is pills. If you choose a drop down, you can see the swatch style converted into drop down type. I don't want this. I am choosing back to a pills. Now coming to swatch style. Clicking on this drop down menu, you can see two options as color label and variant image. Color label is the default option. You can pick an image instead of color label by choosing variant image. After choosing, click the save button. Now, you can see, no images are appearing here. This is because you need to pick an image in all these variant fields. I am picking an orange cup image for this field or you can add new images too. Since I already have the image here, I picked orange. Likewise, I am doing the same for other fields. Once it's done, click the save button here. Head to the site and refresh the product page. You can see now images are appearing instead of color swatches. 
Now, it depends on your wish. You can choose a different swatch style from the customizer. And that's it. You've successfully added variants for products on your Shopify 2.0 theme. If you have any thoughts please, drop in the comments below and also like and share this video for those who want to add variants for products on their Shopify 2.0 theme. Also subscribe to this channel for more tutorials like this. Thanks for watching, and happy selling!